boys, it's me, Chad. Hi, I'm back. My name's Whisper. How are y'all doing today? What's up, everybody? I hope y'all are having a wonderful... You know what? No. Let's see. What day is it? What day is it? It is... I didn't stream on Sunday. I didn't know I'm on... I think today's Tuesday. I'm not gonna check, and I'm just gonna assume that I'm right. What's up, everybody? I hope y'all are having a wonderful Tuesday. Hope you're doing delightful and welcome on in. Come on, we got plenty of room on the couch, plenty of room for chat to take a seat, take a good old seat, and get comfy. Because today, we're just going to have a small sit down and chat, just like we always do. And it's going to be nice. We're just going to, just, uh, we're just going to vibe. It's a bit Tuesday, and it? But yes, what's up everyone? What's up Callie? What's up Mute? What's up Zion? What's up Cordy? What's up Shadow? What's up Negative? Clone Zio? The Weed? The GWG? Look, I'm bad with names. I'm trying though. Lead. Hope y'all are doing wonderful. But, fantastic news. I know you guys can't see it. But both of my computer Shut the monitors. fuck up. No one cares about your robot fan fiction. Right. Pick wrong button. I see how it is. It's fine. Just want to stream. I just want to sit down and have a nice conversation with you guys. Alright. I understand it's not wanted. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just leave. We'll just end stream right now. It's fine. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even care. I, I don't even care. <laughs> Thank you very much, Death, for the 500 biddies. Thank you very, very much. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. But thank you very much. And Lynn, thank you very much for the host. Stream ends. But, what was I saying? Okay, okay, yes. So, I know you guys can't see it. But both of my monitors are on over there. And it hasn't been like that for years. Whenever I've wanted to start up VR, start streaming with VR, I've had to unplug my main monitor and then plug my VR um, link box into the back of my PC. So I was always just like, because uh, uh, I'm a lazy son of a bitch. So I would just always procrastinate on it. And it's, I'm, I'm lazy. So it, uh, it, it's, it's, it, it drove me nuts. And then while I was sitting there the other night, yeah, tip, tip, tip tapping away on Google, looking at RTX cards, fantasizing. I've been, I've been fantasizing about the RTX cards so badly. I just, I really, really want one. Like, really. And it's, uh, I'm never gonna get one. Uh, so I was sitting there fantasizing about them and, like, comparing them between my current 1080 and the RTX cards. And I was, like, looking through, like, the statistics, and one of them was showing off all the ports they had, and it says 1080. It has two display ports. And I go, no, it doesn't. I've had to unplug my monitor anytime I want to use VR. It only has one display port. So, you know, I go, do 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 prancing behind my computer, and I look, and it's, Holy fuck, there is two display ports. There has been two display ports for the entire goddamn time that I've owned this graphics card that I've owned by VR. There's been two display ports this entire time. VR could have been so much easier for me. It could have been so much easier. Grab the juice. Thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. What's up, Barista? But, like, it was like, I was shook. It's like an entire, like, my worldview was just bah! shattered. And I would, I, it just, it just, it took me by surprise. I was like, <laughs> so now, like, I, I, I can, here, like this, this, here, I'll even show you guys, like, I can. I can open it up. I can swap desktops. 
wild. I've never been able to do that before, ever. So I'm just sitting here, I'm just like, I'm monkeying out, my neurons are activating. I'm just sitting there going, <laughs> you know, just going absolutely buck wild. Hey, I appreciate the, uh, the kind words there, Juice. Thank you very much. I did have some things I wanted to talk about today. There, there was some topics I wanted to get to. That was one of them because, my God, have I felt like such a doofus over the two display ports. Oh, six, what's up? But the next one, we had a we had a deer in our backyard. We had a deer in our backyard, and it was really cute. It was a really big, funny-looking dog. So they came just... They came just walking into the yard all sweet-like. You know, they, they came up to the, the bird feeder, and they just stood there. So my grandmother board, she's like, hey, hey, go get the, go get the camera. We got, we got to get a picture of this deer. So I'm like, okay. So I, I grab my phone and I'm, so I run on out. I, I slide on in. We snap a picture. And as I do, this deer throws its head back to start trying to eat out of the, the bird feeder. Like it wasn't just like a calm, gentle, majestic little like lift up and like nope this thing just went like an absolute animal which i mean it was a deer so it was an absolute animal but anyway anyway so then my nana she takes a step out and she's like hey stop it get out of here shoo get out of here and it stops and it looks at her and it stares her in the eyes. And then it throws its head back again and it just goes <laughs> and it just starts eating. And it to me it was the funniest shit ever. To just see this deer throw its head back. And she actually had to end up like running down the steps to shoo it away. And even then it didn't even like sprint away like a normal deer. It just walked away. Real casual like. So, you know, I'm thinking that may or may not have been the Wendigo that was haunting me with the with the proximity alarm. Listen, I don't know. I don't know how these things work. Saber Wolf, appreciate the host. Thank you very much. Throw it back. Yeah, that's actually, that's what the deer, the deer was just throwing it back hardcore. And honestly, color me impressed. Great form, great figure. Uh, okay, next thing that I had wanted to talk about, that I, I really needed to talk about, and I've been like, I'm really bad at coming up with topics for these kinds of um, sit down and chat streams. I'm really bad with it sometimes, but I've I've had an experience, and I, I, I've been sitting here memorizing it, writing it down over and over and over again mentally, because I've needed to talk about this. All right. Can I see some, some people raise their hands and chat? If you've heard of the um, 2000s movie, Titan AE. Titan AE. We actually watched it in my Discord the other day, which is why this whole thing came about. But um, it's an early 2000s movie. It's it's a mixture of 2D and 3D animation, and it's actually surprisingly good looking. Like, I actually dig the aesthetic. And it's... Uh, apparently, it was a whole lot of people's childhood movies. I never got to see it when I was a wee little calculator, but I made up for it now by uh, watching it in the Discord. And it, it was it was it was pretty neat. Um, a man got his neck fucking just broken. Like him, it, before I even go into this, like this this movie's wild for a kids movie. Like there's, yeah, I watched a man explode. One of the, the main bad guys. He he pulls a gun on them and he's like too late and then the dude comes up behind him and breaks his fucking neck and i was like holy shit what the fuck is happening it was it was wild fluxion appreciate the follow and welcome on in what's up what's up macho 
So while I was looking into uh, Titan AE for uh, the movie night, I sat down and um, I'm Googling it. I'm like, doo, 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 doo. where can I rent this from? Can I get it from Netflix? Can I get it from uh, YouTube, from Google, et cetera, et cetera? Um, and you know how Google has those little things of um, like the itty bitty little things that pop up in your search that are like, other people have asked this question. And one of them was, is there a Titan AE2? And now, I didn't think there was, because I remember it being a massive disaster for Fox. And I clicked on it, and it said, yes, yes, there has been. Have I watched the Olympics? No, I haven't really. And it says, yes, there is a Titan AE2. So I'm like, oh, double movie night? Sure, why not? So I click on the link. And, oh, don't worry, Callie, I will be getting into that. I will be getting into that. Don't you worry. So then I go in and it's this full page, like everything. This page has everything. It has the synopsis. It has like the full story. It has all the characters. It has all the um, the voice actors for all the characters. It has a poster, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, okay. It's talking about all the awards that's won. And I'm like, damn, this actually sounds pretty good. Looks like Nickelodeon bought it up uh, from Fox. And they released it in like 2004. So I'm like, oh, damn, that is really cool. You could drive any type of vehicle. What would you drive? Uh, I'd like a Lada here in the States. Ladas are just cool little metal lunch boxes. And I love them. GG, bro, man. Appreciate the follow. And welcome on in. Enjoy your stay. Where was I? Ah, yeah, Titan AE2. So I'm sitting there, and I, uh, I Google just Titan AE2. Um, like, rent stream, whatever. And so I sit there, and nothing comes up. And I'm like, What do you mean? This is an award-winning movie. Why isn't anything coming up? Ah, uh, damn. Welcome on in, and thank you very much for the follow. Oh, what's up, Wolf? And what's up, Shira? So, I'm like, this is absolutely weird. Okay. So, after about probably half an hour of soul searching, I find out that Titan AE2 never existed. This weird little website is like a fake website. And this is essentially Titan AE fan fiction. This entire synopsis is for a movie that never happened. All of these voice actors picked for these characters, they, they aren't real. Like, the, these credits were so specific. Like, basketball guy number two had a voice actor. They picked out a voice actor for basketball guy number two. All for some weird, super in-depth Titan AE fan fiction. It fucking blew my mind. I was like... Who did this? Who did this? I don't understand. It just, it was, it was so confusing because, like, I went from, like, questioning to, like, joy to then confusion to now just, like, soul-crushing defeat. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, who the fuck made this? Who, who? Like, I don't know, maybe it was, like, some, like, uh, film students, like, school project or something. It just, it was just confusing. I've had to get that off my chest for, like, days. Like, I'm gonna get comfy. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. We getting comfy around here. But yeah, I've just had to talk about that. It's just been a confusing time with that for me. We love basketball guy number two. Fuck yeah, basketball guy number two is my favorite character in the hit non-existent movie Titan AE. It was just a wild time. Like, I, then I found out that they had a video game, but then they canceled it, and then hackers hacked the video game to get some of the levels back, and I'm just... 
There's just been so much going on with Titan AE that it's confused me. I've just sort of accepted it. It's existed. Oh, well. Moving on with my life. But I really, really wish there's more to it. They made a cool little universe. They were, like, trying to go for the whole Treasure Island feel, but kind of fucked it up. Because instead of having this deep bonding relationship, uh, the main character got to fly the spaceship, like, once, and then the other main guy was like, Gee whiz, you sure drove that spaceship nice, now give me back my seat. And the guy's like, okay, you're basically my dad now. And everyone's like, Woo, now we're gonna kill you. It didn't make much sense, but I, I really liked it. A plague doctor in Demon Slayer God Killer. Thank you very much for the follows, and welcome on in. Take a seat, enjoy your stay, and thank you guys very much. Now, another big development. I'm gonna share, I'm gonna save the big, big, big news to the very end, which I ain't gonna show you any pictures. You just get to hear the news. And what's up, PD? How you doing? What, what was I going to talk about again? Oh, yeah. Okay. Before I get to that, the other day, uh, I was supposed to stream. And, uh, you know, I'll put my hand up. Oh, wire got caught in the chair. There we go. So, I was supposed to stream the other day, but I hadn't spent the full night. Uh, charging, so I get up, and I'm just, I'm feeling like death, I'm just sitting there, it's 8 a.m., I'm supposed to get up at, like, 11, I'm up at 8, I checked Discord, and I got a really good message, so I was, like, absolutely ecstatic, and I didn't want to go back to charging, I'm sitting there just going like, Woo! Woo! and I was, I was just, I was, uh, I was on cloud nine, I was having a good time, so I didn't want to go back to the good old, just like, <laughs> You know, so I didn't end up getting up. I hobble over. I hobble over to my computer. <laughs> I plop down like the gamer I am. And I go, I don't want to do anything today. Doing anything is lame. So I didn't. And instead I sat down. I uh, booted up uh, Discord. And I started watching Gundam. Because I've been, I've been getting really into Gundam. I've been watching a lot of Gundam. Like, so far, I've watched, um, I think I've watched two of the original three movies. I watched, um, uh, all of Origin. I watched MS-08. I'm like, six episodes into Zeta. I watched the Miller Report. Uh, then I watched, like, that 10-minute OVA of MS-08, the one with, like, the flight-type goof. It was, I've been watching a lot of Gundam, like, a lot. It's, like, within three days, I've probably, uh, devoted way too much time into it. I like said, so the build series, I have not. But, yeah, I've watched a whole lot of Gundam in probably about a week week and a half, and I'm going to keep watching Zeta. Zeta's alright. But, I have to say, alright, in origin, Char, holy shit, if, if you don't watch Gundam, none of this is going to make sense to you. But, um, Char, and then what is the, the blue-haired kid's name? I can't remember the blue-haired kid's name. Come on, one of you, one of you has to know what Gundam is, and it, it's seen at origin. He, he's a zombie. He's one of the zombies. He's the blue-haired little twink of a kid. What is his name? Sonic. No, that's... It's not Sonic. It, it's a good try, but it wasn't Sonic. Anyways, holy shit. The sexual tension between Char and him. I'm sitting there, and like, I'm just like, kiss. I need you to kiss. I need you to kiss right fucking now. Fucking kiss. Like, I've never understood, like, those shits that come out of, like, Tumblr and stuff. Like, oh, Garma, yes, Garma. I 
I've, I've never understood any of the ships that came out of Tumblr where they're like, oh, these characters, they seem all so right for each other. Uh, uh. I never understood that until I saw fucking Origin. Now it all makes sense to me. It was like my third eye opened and I was flooded with knowledge. It just came flying in just, and I just, I absorbed all of it. Kyofu, thank you very much for the follow in Pokemon in. And I'm like, holy shit. Shar, I need you to kiss Garma on the lips and tell you, tell him, tell him you love him. It, it, it was just, they, they just, they didn't stop everything they did. Char was just like, hey, you doing okay? And Garma's like, <laughs> and then Char would be like, eh, it's all right. You need help with that. And then Garma would be like, <laughs> And I'm just like, holy fuck, <laughs> Like, it just, it just, uh, it just, it, holy shit, Gundam, if they don't kiss at any point, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm gonna start flipping tables, I'm gonna find wherever Gundam headquarters is, I'm gonna go there myself, I'm gonna double flip their tables too, I don't even care. You flew a drone today? Yo, proud of you. Do you know how to draw? Because you can draw them kissing each other. True. You know, I could I could take that that uh, that initiative and slap my artistic values on the table and be like, I made fan fiction Gundam art. Am I going to? Absolutely not. That's effort. And I don't do effort. Chase Foreman, appreciate the follow and welcome on in. What would Night Margin do that? That's a good question. I I bet they would probably draw them kissing. What's up, Chris? How you doing? Gundams, you're shipping away. He like for real though. Like wild hugs. Uh, hugs are for nerds. The free Gundam game you can play. You don't even need PS Plus to play online. Unfortunately, I don't own a PlayStation. I am looking forward to some of the games that are coming to PC. Um, like that Gundam, uh, like Overwatch style game. That one looks pretty neat. But like, all I'm saying is shark kiss, kiss karma right on the lips. You are so happy. You're so perfect for each other. Just go on a date, maybe get some smoothies or something. It's just, just start. Just take your lips and just, you know. Also, the goof fight from MSO8. Whew. The scene where he jumps, like, down with the, the fucking sword and stabs it into the tank and just, and the oil goes, huh. Oh. oh, if that wasn't a taken man, then, Whew. But. We didn't just watch Gundam. Watching a stream on the laptop and phone. Um, so sorry for your ears and for anyone around you. Um, I also watched 19 episodes of Metabots in a single day. In a single day, I watched 19 episodes of Metabots on top of everything else. It's, a. Uh, I have a problem. What's up, Bart? How you doing? Callie joined me in the VC and was like, hey, listen, listen, I know you're like watching Gundam, but here's Metabots, and I sort of was just sitting there, like I said, I was having like a bit of a bad day, so I'm just sitting there and I'm like, yeah, okay, go for it, throw it on, so, she did, and <laughs> what, is, what, is it, what is 19 episodes, you know, they're about 20 minutes a pop, excluding the opening and trailers, so that's probably about three in an hour, so that's nine episodes, about three hours-ish, we watched 19, so I'm gonna say that was probably almost six and a half hours of Metabots right there. And that doesn't include the four episodes of Zeta, the four episodes of MSO8 that I watched that day, 
as well as all the OVAs, I watched a lot of fucking cartoons. And it was actually a lot of fun. It made me feel like a wee little calculator again. I didn't have any responsibilities because I called everything off for that day. I just sat down and I went, cartoons, 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 cartoons. And, you know, I think in Metabots, I might have a bit of a controversial opinion. Meta B wasn't even my favorite character. I don't think he was even in my top two. I think he was, it, I think he was number three. I, f I forget exactly what I said. Um, but the really, really annoying, like, journalist girl, the, the one that everybody hates, and for good reason, um, I loved her Metabot. She was just so cute. I loved her. She was sweet. She took care of people. But she was just, she was sweet. She was my favorite. I just, I just, I just want a metabot to tuck me in at night is all that I'm trying to say. Um, that lets you casually watch all of Open Star Racers. It's one of my favorite. Is that the one with the dragons? Is that the one with the dragons racing? Do I build Gunpla? Listen, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't gotten that far into the Gundam Addiction yet. I haven't gotten that far. Not dragons, no. Alright, because I remember there used to be on a Jet X, the show about like erasing dragons. I think about that one a lot. Peppercat. Peppercat was a sweet pea. Peppercat was cute. A little bit annoying in my taste, but that's because she was connected to the boss. But uh, I like Peppercat's design. You know about the Gundam Hero Shooter game that got announced? Yeah, we actually briefly mentioned it. I called it Overwatch Gundam. And, yeah, so I, I'm looking forward to that coming out, and I really hope that it's not one of those games that comes out in Japan, and then they don't release it over here in the West for, like, another God knows how long. I'm, please, if you're out there, Char, you'll make it happen. I pray to you, Char. I just do not. He was number three, Callie. Come on. He was number three. I watched LBX. It's not ringing a bell. But, but I'm going to be honest. I watched so much Gundam at once that, like, the events that happened, like, imprinted. But, like, trying to actually, like, remember specific names and stuff is really difficult for me. Like, for the longest time, I just kept calling Char Thor Ragnarok because the names, was it Char Asnable, Thor Ragnarok, they're basically the same name. But people kept getting mad at me. They kept saying, Whisper, you're wrong. And I'm like, no, I'm just, Thor Ragnarok needs to kiss the blueberry girl and, and, and make sweet love, that's it. Oh, wait, we also watched Thunderbolt. I forgot about that. We watched Thunderbolt as well. Thunderbolt was fucking cool as shit, and I'm mad that they ha don't have the third one yet. Holy shit, was Thunderbolt good. Uh, we watched both of them. That was good. I really like Thunderbolt. Screaming jazz. Yeah, I mean, that, that summarizes Thunderbolt pretty good. Screaming jazz and war crimes. What's not to love? It's almost like Gundam, but they're little battle XP robot toy. It makes me think of Beatemon. You know, the little, little, little boys that you, you take and you, you go like, and you shoot the marbles out of them. Virtual cheese, welcome on in. And thank you very much for the follow. Enjoy your stay. Alright. But I think it's time that we have a big, serious talk. Alright? None of this little. What? little baby stuff. I think it's time to talk about the model reveal. What's up, Poppy? Wow, a year of subbing to a Swiss Army appliance child with a knife. What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I agree, Pepsi. Thank you very much, and welcome on back for a full year. It's been a wild journey. Appreciate you spending some of that here. 
much obliged and thank you very, very much. But yes, it's time to talk about the model reveal. That's right. I know I've mentioned it briefly, but some of you guys may not have been there. There's a new model coming. There's a new robot. A new whisper. Now, that doesn't mean I'm getting rid of this. I'm, you know, dare I say, don't tell anyone chat, but I'm like cute as fuck. So there's no way I'm losing this. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm happy the way I am. I'm cute as shit. But, but, what happens if I don't want to be small, cute, pink gremlin? And I want to be gigantic pink mommy robot who could break your neck with a single ah, you know that's coming let me just say I haven't been watching all this Gundam for no reason or if I told you that yours truly is currently getting a custom Gundam modeled for myself already got the character sheet done already got the design done and it's already in the modeling phase it's been being modeled for about three days it's basically done from the legs up to the shoulders the arms are done the head's being worked on needs some more stuff in like the chest and the armpits and the lower legs and then it needs to get textured and rigged and then all of that other fun stuff that goes into models but it's coming and it's going to get excited whisper wing gx stardust forever well bad guy ex welcome on back for uh, seven months thank you very much bad guy welcome on back for a little over half a year now Yo, that Gundam obsession made you a Gundam. Uh, listen, I made the choice to get the Gundam model before I started watching all the Gundam. Because all of my friends were super into Gundam and they just kept talking about it. And some of them, um, they, they would, they get into the Gundam model when we were hanging out and they were so tall and handsome and cool. And they all had guns, and they're just... So there are gonna be five other toaster strudels inside your face screaming about the power of friendship? Dope. I call shotgun. <laughs> well, welcome on back, Laser, for the 29th month. See, how long is that? So 24 is... Two years... So that's two years and five months. That's a real freaking long time, Laser. Welcome on back. And sure, I guess you did call shotgun. So, I mean, there's not much anybody can do about that. That's like a legally binding agreement. Normal suit, best suit, whisper. The live concert, Zaku Warrior. Now, you know what best suits me? My custom one that's in development. What's up, egg roll? How you doing? But I am so fucking excited. Oh my god, you guys. I have been planning, like... I've mentioned it before, but I never got to have one of those VTuber debuts. I started streaming way before that was the norm. And... What's up, Kame? Welcome on in. I never, I never got to have one of those cool ass debuts where, like, it, it was a celebration of the streamer. I never got to do that, and I thought that I missed my chance. Danger Zone, appreciate the follow. Welcome on in. Uh, I thought I missed my chance, and I'd never be able to do something like that. And then uh, my friend Shia actually uh, got his new model, and it made it a whole big experience. And I was like. Holy shit. That looks like so much fun. You mean I still can do that? I was like, fuck yeah. Let's, let's do it. 
let's do it. And I've already been sitting down. I've been editing little videos to do like sneak peek teasers once uh, I finally get the model. And I'm excited. Some bits for the train. So you already dropping the announcement about the Gundam? Thank you for the 100 biddies, Kame, and that's right, well, I'm at least talking about, they don't get to see any of that, uh, that, uh, background little information and footage that, uh, you mods have seen. They don't, they don't get to see any of the pictures of it in development. They just get to imagine it. They just get to imagine it. Think about how cool it is. But I'm just so excited. Um, on top of that, like, I've already... Oh, I, I just, all the little videos I get to make, the model is going to have guns and the guns are going to have colliders on it. So when I'm playing VR chat, I can actually shoot stuff with the guns and it'll start knocking stuff off of shelves. And I can feel like such a fucking gamer. And I'm excited. But. Oh my Sorry, God. Okay, I got shotgun. I forgot how loud that is. Holy fucking shit, that was loud! Whew! Oh my god, thank you, Laser, for the 250 bits. Oh my lord, and for a little bit of my hearing taken out of my life. Wait, you got a new model? I'm going to get one. But, that model's only used on special occasions. Honestly, I'm still gonna be my pink little self. 90% of the time, but any for any game where we get to fight big robots, I'm going, mm -mm. we being Gundam, we Gundam today, we Gundam today, and I am excited, like, I can't properly convey, it's, I've been probably waiting about a month and a half for the modeling to actually be in, and it finally started, and I was like, <laughs> I started like monkey hump jumping from the trees and I was my neurons were they were firing and activating and it's only been three days and if it continues to be worked on it might only be a couple days more for the modeling portion there's still a lot more that goes into it but maybe will I use Gundam for SMC then oh most likely absolutely so excited for your new model or outfit is so much fun. Oh, I'm putting so much work into the um the hyping up of it, sluggies. You don't even understand. Like, I am pumped to be able to give sneak peek photos leading up to it. Sneak peek videos. Oh, who's in charge of making the model? Um, it is the same person who worked on this model here. Um their name is Jessica, and she does fantastic work, and she, like I said, she, uh, she did my original model, so I went back, and I was like, can you, can you pretty please work on one for me, and she's like, oh, okay, so been a while. now we, here we are. It has been a while, like, girl, I haven't seen you poke your head in, but thank you so much for poking your head in today, and for continuing your sub for a fourth month. So welcome on back, Egg Roll. I hope you've been good. I hope life has been treating you right as you lead into the summer. Hope it's not too rainy where you are, because it's been rainy where I am. But I hope you've been good. And you, how are you doing? Why are you out here gifting them? What do you think, do you think you're doing gifting out or so? I gotta hit you with... What happens if you gift the sub around these parts, you get kicked in the skull. <laughs> thank you, though, Mute. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for the 50 biddies. You just walked in. You just walked to your parents and laser gifted 250 biddies. Is that... Did it just give you a little... <coughs> like a good air horn to, like, show off to them? And they can look at you and be like... Son and or daughter. What are you doing with your life? Cause I like to imagine that's what most of my streams are. Like if you had, oh god. Oh well, there goes my spine. Ah, I didn't need it anyways. Uh, Ruski and Axolotls appreciate the follows and welcome on in. 
You managed to pick up a 30. I'm so fucking jealous. I was just talking about that at the start of the stream. I want an RTX card. I want at least a 3070. I at least want a 3070. Holy shit. shit. I see your shotgun and raise you an SMG. <laughs> I fucking love that alert and it almost never gets used. I fucking love that alert. That's probably like the only second time we've seen it. Thank you very much, Kame, for 420 biddies. See your shotgun and raise you an SMG. Oh, Kame's got the range advantage now. You don't want scalper prices? Yep, I've, I've been sitting here sluggies. Every day I check my Best Buy, I check their open box section, I check all my local places, my Facebook uh, marketplace, everything. I just, I just need a 3080. Alfred is a treasure. Alfred is a treasure. That goes without saying. That's just like a given, you know how like, the, the God came down with the Ten Commandments. Little known fact, there was eleventh one in it. It just said that Alfred is a treasure. Didn't even know that alert existed. See, that's how little it gets used. How am I? I'm doing just dandy. You know? Sock, thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. I haven't streamed in a few days. I'll be honest. Part of that was me sitting down and just not feeling up to it. Uh, there's been very much a feeling of... Downloading. Weed.exe Holy I'll keep going in a moment. <laughs> I see your SMG and raise you a single time use of the Ultima spell. Not the Ultima spell, I don't... I don't know what that is. But, thank you very much for the 420 biddies. Even if I don't know the power of the spell that you're using. What, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was talking about why I haven't been streaming. I'll be honest, it's been a uh, past couple days. I've I've had a tough time hitting that go live button. Every streamer has those moments. It's not even like a feeling of being burnt out. You're just like... You're, you're sitting there and all, all those bad thoughts are getting you. And you're like, uh, what's even the point? No one's gonna watch. No one cares. Pee pee poo poo stinky. And at some point, you just gotta be like, wow, and kick those thought process down and be like, fuck it, even if nobody does come watch, I want to stream because it's what I find fun. So, uh, get, get, get the fuck out of my head, bad thoughts, and go back to normal. So that's what I did, and that's why I am streaming today. Ready the panda, appreciate the follow, and welcome on in. So, I took them bad thoughts. You activated my trap card jar of greed. <laughs> and with that one card I drew. I have all five pieces of Exodia. Dude, Kame. I don't manage. What the <laughs> I don't know how you've managed to hit every single loud ass alert that I have. But you did it. Congratulations. Very, very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kame, for the 450 biddies. Thank you very, very much. The Flying Coral, thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. But, I've also been a little bit not wanting to stream because I have been excited for the new model. And I know if I don't stream till I get the new model, it would be just like two weeks of me not streaming. And I can't do that. I'd miss you guys too much. So I have to like push through that kind of thought. But I'm like, I'm just excited, guys. I'm excited. I cannot wait to show this model off with you. And I can show you all the little fuck about no robots. They ain't got no soul. Dramatic pause. Listen, we've been over this. I do have a soul. In fact, I got two of them. Bottom of my feet, baby. Look, soul one. Soul 2. Bam! Jesus Christ! There's... I don't know why you guys are being too sweet today. Thank you, first off, very much, Laser, for the thousand biddies. You've given way too much today. And 
I urge you to save your money for you. I appreciate it. Thank you, but please. Thank you very much, Laser and Esper. Thank you very much for gifting out five subs. Thank you very, very much. If you were gifted a sub by Esper, please say thank you. Because if you don't, I will destroy you. I will grab you by your neck and I will suplex you. And while you sit there crying and choking on the dirt on the floor, I will stand up and uh, hit you with one of those. So you might want to say thank you. Oh, will you buy a 3080? Listen, I'm going to wait till they're not scalper prices. And I will wait. I will wait. <laughs> thank you, Kame, for the 30 bits. But no, I, I ain't buying no 3080 at scalper prices. I'm a wait. I'm a wait. I'm a patient bot. I mean, I'm, I'm really not. I, I'm really, really, really impatient. Really impatient, but I will wait until the 30 series becomes more readily available. I'm just a little bit sad that there is um the new Hell Let Loose update coming at the end of the month. And I can't stream it because my card struggles in that game. So, I'll have to wait, but that's okay. I'll, I'll get there eventually, and it's going to be so juicy when I'm able to actually stream that. Oh, everybody's going to clap and be like, wow, good job. Have fun. Starting to go fund me to buy a designer backpack. Listen, I'll support you. you. Speaking, you managed to win a new egg shuffle. Oh, fuck you. I've been, I've been signing up for those almost every single day, egg roll. I wake up, first thing I do is I hit the new egg notification on my phone, and I enter the shuffle. And I never win. But that's okay, because I'll keep trying. I'll get there eventually. What was I going to talk about? There was something I wanted to talk about. Leo, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome on in. Um... Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, now I remember. So, I may have been sitting there, and for those who don't know me personally, one of my favorite, favorite guilty pleasures is early 2000s pop music. Early 2000s pop music is fucking awesome, and you cannot convince me otherwise. Screaming reaction. Thank you very much for the follow, and welcome on in. Do you have Udo? So, uh, so I'm just, I'm a sucker for early 2000s pop music. And if you don't know what I mean by that, I mean like the Venga Boys. I mean like, um, um, so you think you're a better off alone. So you think you're a better off alone. You know, those kinds of songs, I'm a sucker for those. Um, so I may or may not have paid a, a mute, uh, some money and said, Go buck wild. I want to hear some. Please. So we may or may not be getting our own custom early 2000s Euro dance style track. And I'm excited. I'm very, very excited for this. And, um. Uh, you're working on it while we talk. Fuck yes. It, the drop to it, do you know what the drop is? It's audio jungle. It gets a little staccato, little uh, 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 audio jungle, and then the dance beat comes in. I'm, I am big excite. I am big excite, as the kids say. Also, I am melting alive. I am overheating in here. Let me, uh, go turn the fan on. Alright, hopefully that won't pick up on the microphone. You grew up with that kind of music, you love it so much, it's nothing but good feelings. Facts. You were speaking nothing but facts right there. I love it. I used to remember getting into my motherboard's car and having Venga Boys blasting. 
there's still a special feeling every time I hear boom, boom, boom. It's like an awakening. It's just the boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. I want you to forget. I'm not good with lyrics. All I know is I like the song, okay? Alright, so you're joining the full body, boys. Hell yeah, you'll be able to kick your feetsies like this. See, I remember back when, um, full body was rare in VR chat. Like, now, pretty much any public world you go to, at least one person has full body. Back in the day, like 2018, nobody had it. So if you had full body, people would come up to you and they'd be like, Oh, you're just using an animation. You're not really moving your legs. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, and they'll, like, they would make you, like, do tests to see if your legs were actually working. They'll be like, oh yeah, move your left leg, and then you do it, and they'd be like, oh yeah, well, how about you kick my hand with your right leg? And you'd be like, blah, and then at that point, they'd be like, holy shit, you can move your legs. And it, it made me laugh, but I miss those days. I miss going to, like, the Void Club and just throwing down, because I used to love dance parties. I used to go to, like, weekend dance parties in VR, and... You, you, you could be so cool if you had full body. Nowadays, everybody has it, and then that causes big dance lobbies to lag now, but I miss those days. What's up, Henry? How you doing? I'm going to kick my feet out. I reckon I'll break a toe. For you, Connie? Probably. You don't have the best luck in VR, I've noticed. Songs are and will always be a fracking pop. Oh, of course they will. Hey, I appreciate the follow and Pokemon in. Thank you very much, Henry. You are the rave kid. No, no, no. This isn't rave music. This is music for the heart. Well, well, well. If it isn't the really nice whale herself, Wall. What's up, Wall? How you doing? Sometimes I got hands like crack my hand off the moving fan. Yeah, I think I held my hand up. And I said, hey, come on, high five. And then you went, eh, and then you stuck your, your hand in a fan. But, you know, it is what it is. Zalamaya. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I didn't feel free to beat me up in public. Thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. How'd your late night PRC sesh go yesterday? Uh, I didn't do much. We just sort of popped around. I chatted with some friends. Uh, took a few pictures. That's it. Nothing too exciting. Music for the soul. Now, music for the soul is a very, for me, you know how everybody has a kind of music that they kind of identify with? That it just kind of, um, it's different. I have a very eclectic feeling for that. Um, it's songs like, um, Buttercup, Oklahoma, Little Dark Age. It, it's those kinds of vibes and songs that that is the music for my soul. That kind of shit hits different for me. And now, of course, I have my guilty pleasures, which is like Russian hard bass, um, goofy like Viking metal, pirate metal, that kind of stuff, my guilty pleasures. But if you want me to sit down, vibe, and just ride the emotional mental waves, throw on some little dark age, and I will pop out to that Clash of Clans stream. Yo, what up guys? Welcome to my Clash of Clans castle. Uh, today we're gonna be sitting down and doing nothing and waiting for things to build. And I console you. You have to work in 20 minutes. Listen, the only advice I can give you is, um... I can't give any advice. Work sucks. I'm gonna... I'm gonna punch your work. How's that? You Kalinka or a head bass person. I like some good old head bass. You know, hit me with, um... Some hard bass school. Hard Bait School is just a classic, you can't go wrong with that. Excess Project has a couple good ones. Uh, 
honestly, sometimes I like to just throw on a playlist and listen to songs I haven't heard before. And I'm actually unironically proud of the one hard bass song that I commissioned, which I now want to listen to. So, I will. We're going to listen to some head bass. Songs of Bob, alright. Ball pit streamline. Listen, I thought about it. Don't test me. I've also been absolutely addicted to Super Mecha Champions. Super Mecha Champions has taken over in my life, and it's really bad. I know you guys have seen me playing it like on stream, but I play it almost every single day off stream, and it's actually a legitimate issue. I love this song. I paid a very nice Polish man to make this song for me. And I love it. Can you play that often? It's it's been bad, Tommy. It has been really bad. It's it's gotten to the point, guys, where I have commissioned a artist, you know, our local artist, Miss. I have commissioned Miss to do me Super Mecha Champions art. It's not that bad. Alright, you know, I always get art for all my favorite games that we play here on stream. We've gotten One Shot, we've gotten Undertale, we've gotten a lot of Undertale. Uh, we've gotten Hunt Showdown, we've gotten this, that, that. I love them all. And then Super Mecha Champions rears its ugly, ugly head. GTFO VFO. Uh, I got it working, Kame. I got GTFO VR working. It actually worked excellent now. The vibe the song puts off with is without parallel. Listen, I'm not biased. <laughs> but I agree. It's available on my YouTube channel. You know what? Because I can do this. Boom. Oh, it feels so good to be able to use my monitors. What? Let me paste. Okay, never mind. I, I won't I won't paste the link to it, I guess. But if you type in exclamation YouTube, you can get to the uh, YouTube page. Life of Boris. And Boris is pretty good. Boris. I like Boris. Super Mecha Champions. Mecha. That sounds hot. Hot. Super. Hot. Super. Hot. Super. Hot. Thank you, Laser, for the 100 biddies, and I actually miss Super Hot. Super Hot was a really, really fun game, and I love the aesthetic of it. The second one sucked. The VR version kind of blew it. Uh, no, the VR version was really cool, but it was also really short. But the first Super Hot, mm, that is impeccable. You can be as loud as you want. Oh, are things finally finalized, Kame? Is everything finally done? You finally moved into your own little corner of the world? Alright. Back to the lo-fi vibe. Samurai Ninja, thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. Yeah, fuck yeah, I was actually just about to check in after stream and shoot you a message and be like, Hey Kame, how's things going? Did you not tell the mods? I, it, not that I've seen yet, Kame. Last I heard you were still moving in things. So I was like, oh Kame, just... moseying along. <laughs> well, I'm glad that, uh... I'm glad that you're moved in, Kame, even if, you know, you forgot to tell us. I'm glad you're moved in, and I hope you're comfortable with it. You're an hour late, 
Yeah, I think you're right on time, Silver. Welcome on in. What's my favorite mobile suit? That's a good question. Because I really like the Xeon suits. Because I am a sucker for the mono eye. The mono eye is just... Huh. Woo. Absolutely stunning. Closed captions do not work at all. They're auto-generated closed captions, so... They may not be the best for me. But they're probably trying. I actually kind of want to see how bad they are. I open up Twitch right now. Alright, I want to see this. Hello. Closed captions. Oh, they're not bad. Oh, the closed captions ain't bad. They're trying their best. What's up, K9? How you doing? Thoughts on the new SMC mech? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. you better do something cool, cause Trio's already stolen my heart. Hard to hate that Z Tech, the Zeon are cool. I mean, minus when they dropped a giant space colony that they filled with poison gas onto planet Earth and destroyed Australia. That was a little bit of a dick move. They killed like 3 billion people. It was a little bit cringe, as the kids say. Um, but I think overall, pretty neat. You know what? I'm starting to get tired of just sitting here. I think we should get up. Ugh. Come on, chat. Yeah, let's go outside. Let's go on an adventure. It'll be nice to get some, uh, some air stand up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh god, I made it so small, I can't reach chat Y'all are too small. Oh god. How do I make you bigger? Alright. Oh, now you're too large. Alright, there we go. There we go. And now I take this. I move you guys over here. And now I turn around. And now... There we go. There we go. It's good to get some energy out every now and then and actually oh, stand up. Deal. Somewhere. Oh, thank you very much for the following. What's good? Everything. We're just having a good day. Am I afraid of the dark? Only when that funny alarm was going off in my house and I thought I was haunted. Other than that, no. I'm big. I'm strong. I'm tough. I ain't even scared of the dark. I'm just cool. Shut the fuck up, no one cares about your robot fanfiction. Give your crubs. I need your crubs. Yummy. Crubs. We're gonna yummy. be here for a while, aren't we? Crubs. Right. Yummy. You know I take crubs. That. I'm taking yummy. a seat. Crubs. Till this is done. Yummy. <laughs> crubs. Yummy. Crubs. Yummy. I'll be crubs. here. Yummy. Crubs. Yummy. Crubs. Yummy. Crubs. Yummy. Crubs. Crubs. Yummy. 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 Crabs, yummy, crabs, yummy, crabs, yummy, crabs, yummy, crabs, yummy, crabs. This one insanity's like. Thank you very much, Egg Roll, for the 500 biddies. I don't know what a crab is, but I mean, I guess they're pretty neat. Thank you very much again for the 500 biddies, though. Only I can stop time, listen, I can dream. What something spell was that? I don't know if we have an eldritch being, you know, come in, cause some damage. I think we know who to blame. But it would be cool, wouldn't it? I don't know why I love cosmic horror. 
We're just gonna derail this completely because Oceano mentioned something spelled. Do you know what game I want to play again? But I don't know if anybody would want to watch. World of Horror. I would love to play World of Horror again, but I don't know if any guy, anybody would really want to watch me play it. Does anybody, you know, put, put your hands up in chat if you even know what game that is. I'll wait. Mostly because I know there's a delay. You don't remember that one? Um... Down some more Becca battles. Oh, don't you worry. We were still talking about how my addiction for Super Mecha Champions is going strong. I will be playing that, and I will be playing it later this week. Did I ever get the dog ending? I did not. Never heard of it. So World of Horrors is a, is it a one-bit horror game? Or two-bit or something? Um, a lot of talking, but beautiful art, mod support. Really, really, really cool game, but there's a lot of uh, talking and a lot of reading, so I just, I don't know if people would like that. But we'll see, I might try it out and see how it goes. What's up, Moxie, how you doing? And, oh, forgive me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butcher this, but you best believe I'm gonna try. Sim, semi-automatic. Thank you very much for the follow, and welcome on in, hope you're doing good. Ready for the Dead Space remake? Oh fuck yes, I am big excited for Dead Space, but, but, hear me out. Sadly, World of Horror contains zero crow. It's unfortunate, but we have to make sacrifices. A and Jackie, thank you very much for the follow, welcome on in. Uh, where was I? What actually was I talking about? I don't actually remember. My stupid... Don't answer that. Uh, thoughts on Imagine Dragons? I'd rather imagine some wagons. You know what? Actually, talking about Imagine Dragons, I brought this up on stream before, but this was a long time ago. So, Imagine Dragons, you know their song was, I think it's them who did the, uh, the Radioactive, Radioactive, uh, that song, there's one line in it where he says, all systems blow, I think, and I've misheard that lyric for so long, so long, I thought he said, my sister moans. And I always thought that was really, really weird language to use. I was like, sure, you could say that she's, I don't know, moaning because things are bad. Like, like, uh, you know, like, that. that's always what I heard. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It just, it. It was weird, but it kind of made sense. Alright? Alright, I, I... I now know that I was wrong. Alright? But... That for the longest time, that's what I heard, and I just thought it was weird, okay? Why did the microwave flicker the lights? The microwave went haywire. It was miserable. I love it. You like cookies? Yeah, they're pretty pog. But then there was also, here's, you know, here's another music admission. You know the song, oh, what is it? You know the song Sexy Back with Justin Timberlake, the, I'm bringing sexy back, yeah? longest time I didn't know that was Justin Timberlake and on top of that I didn't know that it was a man in general I thought it was a black woman with just a very very like full and husky voice like that's that's just it 
I never knew it was Justin Timberlake. Nobody told me. Every time I heard that song, first images, it was just like a really strong voice black woman. And when someone told me it was Justin Timberlake, like my world like shattered. I was like, no, 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 don't, don't, you can't tell me that. It's not Justin Timberlake. Like, it just, it just, wow, it just blew my mind. It was a little bit crazy. If you have whisper singing this, listen, I sing a lot. You'll notice sometimes in my streams, I'll just be in the background just humming something. I don't know why. I'm not good at music. I'm not good at remembering it. But man, does it get stuck in my head. But yeah, anyways. It just, it, 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 it blew my mind. Like, it shattered any expectations I have. Like, can I just? I can. Hi, chat. Hi, chat. Don't you know I'm a Twitch streamer? God. 
I love, well, I mean, I don't love them because they exist, but I love making fun of those self-entitled Twitch streamers. Like, everybody knows the lady who's like, you don't have five measly dollars? Like, I really like making fun of those kinds of people, but I don't like that they exist. You know, it's a... It's a tough emotion to deal with. The lovely view, it is absolutely lovely. Mr. A will welcome on back, Karen. Hope you're having a delightful day. Have I watched any Macross? I have not. The name rings a bell, but I don't think I've watched any of it. What's up, Dimitri? How you doing? Self-entitled people need to be made fun of more often. Oh, for sure. Like, come on. We know they're not going to learn. Because people like that never learn. Like, the Karen archetype. Like, if if life was an RPG, the Karen archetype. Like, we know they're not going to change. Right? We know that they're set in their ways of being absolutely batshit annoying. And ain't nothing going to change that. And that's okay, because that means we get to make fun of them. We get to point and laugh. What's up, Rocky? How you doing? You're from Canada. Congratulations. I'm proud of you. We gotta beat them up. Well, that's a hoodie. That's called assault. It is, in fact, illegal. Even if you may want to. Because believe me, we've all been there. You might want to. It is still, in fact, illegal to beat them up. It's your favorite type of cookie. Mm. I know one of those ones that's so soft, it melts in your mouth, and you're just like... Or an Oreo, because you can just... You can, you can take that bad boy and just dunk him in milk and be like... Woo! You know? Yo, Chad, I got something for you. You ready for this? Got him. Got him. Got him. You look. You look. Hey, look. You look. You look. Guess who gets to get punched? Fucking idiot. Boom! <laughs> That was you who said that they you, you saw me on the Twitter. Link the tweet to me. Whether it's a Twitter DM or uh, tag me in Discord or something. You gotta drop out. Hey, alright, Kami. Get some sleep, friend. Enjoy your 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 little area just for you, my friend. I'm glad that it's all set up and I hope that it gives you a little bit more peace and quiet. Enjoy it. Smell your round, Kame. Nah, it doesn't count, Skiller. It's not upside down. It's not upside down. It doesn't count. It's gotta be upside down and below the waist. Just got back and already got your nose broken by a toaster. Hey, that's fine. I'm sorry, Mr. Twitch streamer. I only have these 100 bit hits. Please don't be angry at me. Whisper cry. You don't have five measly doll. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude, for the hundred biddies. I am super appreciative of it. Thank you very, very much. I, it's very much appreciated. Thank you. What an unflattering angle that was, though. But let me just... You guys are like the flashlight, and I'm telling scary ghost stories. It's great. Hi, chat. Hi. <laughs> it's the sniffing angle. How delightful. Strong. 
strong, low dark energy. Well, you feel violated, send help. Nah, I am the help. And I'm 300 feet from your location and approaching rapidly. <laughs> and I say I love those fucking goofy little things. Is like, fun fact, Ryan Gosling is 300 meters from your location and approaching rapidly. Shit makes me laugh harder than anything. Or it's like, fun fact, you know, the... Yeah, who's the guy who did Deadpool? I, I gotta think about this for a moment. Who the hell did Deadpool again? Was it? I, I'm my, I'm stuck on Ryan Gosling. I know it's not Ryan Gosling. Ryan Reynolds. Okay, it was still a Ryan. That's why. All right. Like it's like a uh, yeah, fun fact. Ryan Reynolds is going to kiss you on the lips. And there's nothing you can do to stop him. Those memes make me laugh. POV, you wake up to whisper trying to eat your soul. Uh, no, you wouldn't wake up to it. I'm... Yeah, listen. I'm too good at it. I'd come out of your closet. Hello. <laughs> and then my eyes turn green. <laughs> and then jump on and take your soul. You wouldn't even have a moment to react. Whispers 10,000 miles from your location. July 28th, delete my Twitch. Yeah, that would be quite the prank. What if I just deleted my Twitch and never spoke to any of my online friends ever again? This track now is 50% more current craft. Oh, fuck yes, fuck yes. Zombie Nation is a banger that deserves to still be played. It's sad that Whispers made tons of Ryan Reynolds jokes. Something tells me Ryan Reynolds doesn't care that I can't remember his name. Listen, I'm gonna try my best, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my very best. Aizana Jin... Ukum. Please put in chat what you prefer to be referred to as. And <laughs> thank you very much for the follow. I'm sorry, I'm so bad with names. You can survive air for two minutes, but every time you breathe, the timer resets. Well, I mean, yeah, that is how, how breathing works. I have a family reunion in a few weeks, and I'm seriously thinking about wearing your big feet, foot t-shirt, should I? Well, listen, I don't think you're ready for the kinds of questions you need to answer. Like, first off, they'd say... Why are you wearing a t-shirt that says Bigfoot ate your ass? Number two, where did you get it? Number three, what do you mean a pink robot on the internet sold it to you? Like, do you know how many questions go into that? Way more questions than you're going to have answers for. I don't think you're prepped for it. With that said, that is my favorite uh, shirt on the store. Awkwardly guessing which auntie or cousin you're talking True, true. Fun fact, little story about that. One time, I uh, I was going camping with family, whole lot of family. There's probably like eight of us there. So I'm I'm sitting there. We're 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 setting up the tent. We're you know pitching the stakes. You know, ting ting, hammering them in, all that fun stuff. And you get up, and I start setting up. The, the the sleeping bag and my motherboard comes over and she's like listen you need to go ask your aunt so and so for the blow up for the air mattress and now me there listen I'm gonna let you in on a secret I've been socially awkward and scared of talking to people my entire life so I'm sitting there and I'm frozen frozen in fear I'm like oh god which aunt is that Oh my god, which aunt is that? I don't remember. There's so much family here. Who is she? And I didn't want to ask. And I didn't want to ask so badly 
that I slept on the floor of this tent. I slept on the tree roots and everything for a week straight because I didn't want to ask. Which, you know, another example of me being just way more socially awkward. Um, another example of me being super socially awkward was the, um, Sky, the main Kitsune. Thank you very much for the follow and welcome on in. So for those who don't know, I really like Fiverr. Fiverr's a neat. You can, there's a lot of cool people. I met Mute on Fiverr. And one time I opened it up and instead of getting it like the little search bar thing, instead of getting that, we got, oh, first I saw say thank you to a couple people. Dictator, thank you for the host. I see your name. I see it. I see it. <laughs> All right. Sorry had to have a quick conversation. And my song, thank you very much for the follow. Alright, okay, okay, back to what I was saying. So, Fiverr. I opened up Fiverr, and for whatever reason, when I open it up, it doesn't open up the main page with, like, the little search box. It just opens up directly to someone's DMs. And I remember slapping in Fiverr, thinking I hit the search bar, and typing in Undertale. So I want some Undertale music done. So I type in Undertale, and I hit enter. And I'm like... Okay. Waiting. Waiting. Nothing's loading. And then I go... Oh my fucking god, I did it, didn't I? And I look down, and it's in his DMs. And I DM this man just the word Undertale. That's it, nothing else. This man's just been sent Undertale. Blah. Dab you up. My man. Alright, so I just send him the word Undertale. Oh, God. Oh, it's so loud. Undertale moment. Oh, that's so loud. Thank you very much for the 250 bitties, even if... I hope there goes more chunks in my hearing. And... <laughs> binary gaming. Appreciate the follow, I like the name. So, anyways, I've sent this man the word Undertale. My, it, I can feel the oil pulsing. Like, my oil pressure's going through the roof. I'm going like, boo-doom, 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 boo-doom. I'm panicking. I'm like, oh god, what do I do, what do I do? So, I go to Google, and I go, do 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 Can I delete a Fiverr message? Uh, the answer is a resounding no. You cannot delete a message on Fiverr. So I'm like, I need to think fast. I need to, I need to think fast. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So I quickly formulate, like, my plan. I'm like, Undertale is a game that I've recently played. And I was wondering if you would like to do a music track for it. Um, and... They sent back, like, this really weird trance track that had nothing to do with Undertale. But I still paid them for it and gave them a tip because I was too socially awkward to say I didn't mean to message you. Um, and, yeah, I, I, I couldn't handle that social pressure. So instead, I paid somebody who makes hard bass music to make a trance track. about Undertale. It, it was weird. I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't handle the pressure. I couldn't tell him it was a mistake. So I just, it, it's fine. It's fine. I'll live with that mistake. So you're playing to fix it <laughs> to make it worse, essentially. That's essentially how it went. How you doing today? I'm doing all right, Paul. Play it for chat. I don't even think I have it downloaded. 
sure I'll play it for you. I'll have to open up Fiverr, so this is going to take a hot second. I know I've played it from you before, but I don't know if she remembers it. Let's see, this is a while ago. Order. I think this one is it. Let's see. Doesn't want to play. Oh my god, I don't know how loud this is. Andrew to Rock, appreciate the follow and welcome on in. I think this was it. Could have just hit him with the sorry meant for someone else. No, I couldn't do that. It was too tough. Yeah, like, doesn't this just scream Undertale to you? Here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. 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 So yeah, this was um, this was me saying, could I have some Undertale music? Them not knowing what Undertale is. It was, it was just, it was a rough time. I, I felt so embarrassed, but I still paid them with tip, might I add, because I accidentally messaged them is the end of the story. And then I paid mute, and then I paid mute again, and again, and again, and again, and another time, and I think, well, that is now on to the final time which is the fat Eurodance track. But, so I guess all's well that ends well, I'm just out like 30 bucks. And that's fine, that's fine. I didn't, I didn't need it anyways. We're good. Just keep crawling back. Pay them so they never talk about this to anyone. Pretty much, essentially. It's, it, it was me just covering my own social anxieties is all. But that's alright, because now I got so much music, I don't even know what to do with. We got like four or five Undertale songs, we got a one-shot song, we got a dance song, I got some headbass. I got more music than I know what to do with, and that's good. I actually like having a little store of goofy music. Make that softener intro. No, we, we have delightful intros already. We already got Mute's music as our intros. You got plenty of stuff you ain't even do anything with yet. See, I used Haywire, I used the boss music one, I used it in the video where I was punching titties. So I've used that one, I think the only one on you mute that I haven't used was uh, the very first one, the Snowden one. I think that's the only one I haven't used yet, because I, I put the one on the castle, I did the one with Goat Mom. Uh, I did the boss music one, punching titties. Listen, my YouTube's a wild place. My YouTube's a wild place. Exclamation point YouTube if you want to see it. Just saying. And thank you for watching actual Whisper Stream. Well, welcome on in. Enjoy your stay. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. I've just been, I came in with like three things to talk about and I ran out of those talking points at like the half hour mark. So I'm, I've, I've just been waffling and that's about it. Name that song, I'm having a hard time. I mean, that's a 
essentially what it was. It was, it was just straight up just a bad time. How's the future? I don't know. Am I in the future? If I am, it's a pretty average. Apples or oranges? Definitely apples. Oranges are weird. I don't trust oranges. You peel them, the full the, the pulpy grossness. Mm. I don't trust an orange. I automatically distrust people if uh, they prefer oranges. It's nothing personal, it's just... There's some things you're not allowed to be wrong about. Maybe that... You know, maybe Yoshi, maybe. We gotta go back to the future. Listen, if you wanna get the DeLorean, that's on you. Honestly though, any of those cars with the... Doors go up. I'm immediately in love with. There's just something goofy about them. Favorite childhood crush, fictional or non-fictional? That's a good one because there was a lot of them. Like I've talked about it before. There was um, the, the Amy from Sonic. There was uh, XJ9. There was. There's so many of them to call from Sonic. They, 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 there's a lot of them, all right? I had, I had a lot of them, all right? I was a lonely, lonely little calculator. And I would lose myself in media. So I had a lot of fictional crushes. It's fine. We were all there. It's fine. Shouldn't be surprised because you found me because of the slighted butt question. Yeah, I have no reason. I, I, I don't know why YouTube goes, you know, all those videos you've worked really hard on. We're going to start promoting the one where you talk about putting slime in your ass. And I'm just over here like... I YouTube, you do... You do you. Whatever he's going to do, YouTube. really sure what else to talk about now you were a calculator yeah don't you know the like life cycle of a robot you start out as a wee little calculator you grow up you become a cash register you spend some time finding yourself a little bit of soul searching so you get your vending machine on a college campus then once you start settling down that's when you become like a fax machine and you really start focusing on your career figuring out what's good for you and uh, from there you're able to branch out you know maybe maybe you want to really help people maybe you want to really help people so you become a microwave so you can help them get their late night snack so you were a car toaster vending machine need something new i've been a lot of things final fantasizer I've, I've been a lot of things. Like, if I were to count all my YouTube videos, I've been a car, I've been a jet, I've been a fire alarm, I've been an alarm clock, I've been a lamp, uh, I've, been, I've been a blender, uh, I've been the, the kettle on the stove, the, I, how do you become a Roomba? That was actually a video that, oh, I became a Roomba too. Uh, but that Roomba video was supposed to be different, but because of how VR Chat does some stuff, I had to change it, and it made me sad. And the delivery bot, that one was one of my favorite videos, dude. That one right there was one of my favorite videos I've ever made. Wes, appreciate the follow, and welcome on in. And Sneak, I appreciate the host, thank you so much. What's up, Sky, how you doing? The last stage of the robot life cycle is Gundam. Exactly, Marsley, exactly. Just we're going where we're going next. I'm getting so old, chat. Listen, don't we all want to just be a little bit of a fighter jet, Pluto? Has anyone seen the clips of that anime where there's just, like, anime girls and, like, one of them, like, one of them, they have their hat and they're, like, running and then the hat gets blown out of their hands so she turns into a fucking jet like, she just goes, and her body just goes, and she just turns into a jet. Am I the only one who's seen that? Because that fucking, that just destroyed me. That one was 
wild. Never seen that. Well, let me tell you, it's just wacky. The one where the girl drinks gas and then becomes a car. That's another one of their things. That's another one of their things. I back. I chat. Hit me. Small. I am not small. The correct term is fun size. Thank you very much. I'm out of here. I can't take this bullying. This kind of bullying is wrong. I'm sickened. I am sickened that you would refer to me as small. Dead meat. <laughs> All right, back to normal. Or dragons that had to be. Kaisers. Yeah, it's, I, I can't say I've seen that one, but it sounds exciting. What's up, Kaiser? How you doing? As AI androids in a bunch of forms and interactions, I want to a massive butt. Like, we saying she's an asshole kind of deal, or are we saying that she is just Two giant cheeky mouths. Those are two very different butts. Imagine dragons, dragon teeth, not so deep. Oh, got him. Where's Minnie? Minnie has been in Hawaii. Alright, you know what? Let me, let me re invoke some ancient memories. Some of you, it's gonna sound like I'm losing my goddamn mind. It's gonna sound like I'm losing my mind out here. But for some of you, you are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. And it's going to evoke some arcane memories from within you. Can you post a link? Twitch will slap you if you post a link here. The only links that can be posted are uh, Twitch clips. So. There is a book out there. A book. A sacred, sacred text. Like, I'm talking this... This, this has, like, the answers to, like, immortality and everything. And do you know what this book is called? The Day My Butt Went Psycho. Now, let me give you a quick synopsis of this ancient, archaic text. Let me tell you. It's a story about a young man. A bit confused in life, but he's, he's doing his best. And his butt detaches itself from his body and goes to a butt rally. And what's a butt rally? Oh, well, let me tell you what a butt rally is. All these people's fucking stinky asses are plotting to overthrow humanity. And let me tell you, they do. They do. And there's this entire, like, story, this epic, this adventure. They go across the great windy desert. They go across the swamp. They go across the butt sea which is full of, like, butt sharks. And then they go into a volcano where they fight the great white butt. Like, this book is fucking wild. So all I'm saying is, if you haven't read that book, first off, don't, it's not worth it. Uh, but second off, if you've had read that book, you're not alone. There's others out there, you're not alone. It's all right. All right. You're okay. You on crack? I don't know, probably. Cocaine. Chuck Tingle. Can't say it rings a bell. Do the dab. Uh, 
see how serious I am right now. But yes, I guess to recap everything that we've talked about today, there was a funny deer that visited my house. There was way, way too many hours of cartoons in a single day. You be vibing, I'm always be vibing. And that also new model coming soon which I'm super excited to share with you guys. I really wish I could share images of it, but this is the kind of thing that will be so much better saved for the big reveal. And I am big excited. So, did I hear a new model? Oh, you heard a new model. You may not have been here when I was talking about it. Brand new model. Big, big Gundam, custom made from the ground up. What's the date? Oh, no date just yet, Soviet. Don't you worry. Once I have a date, I'm going to put it, like, probably about a month out once I finally get my model so I can have all this time to record, get a 3D debut. I don't, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm 3D already. <laughs> what I get is a new model debut, which is exciting. Like Uno with friends today, man, you're a rebel. But I am excited. I'm excited and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Like, part of me wants to share the really bad Photoshop that I gave to the artist, but I won't. I won't. I won't. I will. I will contain myself. I will, I will wait, and I will wait patiently. Well, I'll wait, but it's not going to be patiently. Believe me, I'm going to be real impatient about it, but I will wait, and I'm excited. So, I'm going to be sharing stuff on it on Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok, and of course Discord, because that's kind of connected to everything. But once I actually have everything set in stone and I start releasing the teasers, you will know. Believe you me. And it's exciting. So, in the meantime, I think we are going to wrap up. I'm going to wrap up for today, everybody. So, thank you all so much for joining me on this Tuesday afternoon. It meant a lot to me. So thank you guys very, very much. Um, as we put into the chat, if you're new here, there's links to the YouTube. We just hit 100k. The Discord, plenty of nice people there. I chat there every single day. My Twitter, where I post fun little dumb stuff. My TikTok, where I post little snippets and clips. So if you're new here, click, up, click on the links, join along, and have a good time. In the meantime, I'm going to send you guys off on a raid, but we will also be back tomorrow. Because tomorrow's Wednesday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll have a good time. I'm not really sure what it is we will be playing. Maybe some Super Mecha Champions. I was thinking about playing some uh, Buddy Simulator. Because I saw some really, really, really good things about it. But I haven't wanted to spoil it. I've wanted to go in blind. And People's Playground. That one looks really fun too. So I bought those two. And I'm excited. So we'll see. We'll see. We might, we'll probably play some Super Mecha Champions tomorrow. Just to have something easy to just. <laughs> something mindless to do. But thank you very much for joining me today, guys. Like I said, please stick around for a hot minute so I can send you guys off on a raid. Right, but. I'm going to go this way so you guys don't see me crumple to the floor. Oh, looks like you still get to see me crumpled. Chat! Chat! Call the chiropractor! 
Some love, and I'll see all of you tomorrow. Bye bye, everyone.